Hello and good evening. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, BICEP for Azure uh, as an infrastructure as code option uh, in Sri Lanka DevOps community uh, meetup uh, September 2021. Uh, to begin with uh, giving this idea of uh, BICEP, uh, it's developed on top of uh, ARM templates or Azure Resource Manager templates and it has sim been simplified so that uh, the syntax is uh, much more declarative and uh, you need to write only simple set of uh, instructions or declarative syntax so that it can uh, transpile or compile into ARM automatically and get executed against uh, Azure. So BICEP is developed only for Azure, but um, it's really comprehensive because uh, it even supports preview features of uh, Azure resources because uh, it's similar to ARM templates. So any preview resource, anything that is uh, available as of right now in Azure can be deployed with BICEP language. Uh, this is really interesting uh, language, which is much more simpler to develop. Uh, without much talking, I think it's better to jump into actual coding and uh, get the experience by itself like experiencing it in hands-on would be the ideal way to learn it so let let me begin uh, with that so let's jump into actual code to start off with our first bicep project i have created an azure devops project here named bicep and i have created a repo named bicep demo uh, which is cloned into my VS code and uh, which doesn't have any files as of yet. Um, one thing that I need to mention is I have installed um, an extension uh, which is named uh, BICEP. So if you search for this particular extension for Visual Studio Code, uh, you can install this extension and that's enabling you to develop uh, BICEP code in Visual Studio with a lot of syntax and uh, intelligence support having said that like if you want to deploy directly from your development machine you need to execute a couple of additional steps uh, which i have uh, blogged about recently so let me uh, jump into that blog and quickly show you um, so if you want to get started with your development environment i have created a blog here with all the instructions that you need to set up your development environment, uh, setting up Visual Studio Code and all the other necessary uh, steps are defined here, such as Azure CLI and uh, Azure Resource Manager, Azure AZ module, as well as uh, BICEP uh, CLI extensions, etc. Uh, so all this uh, information is available for you in this particular blog. So you can actually log into this blog and read it through and set up your development environment. So with my development environment ready uh, to develop for BICEP as well as um, deploy BICEP, uh, let me start off by creating a simple folder named infra. Okay, so with this infra folder, what I'm going to do is create my first um, BICEP uh, file. So let me try to say that, okay, if, if you guys are familiar with Terraform, you would be liking to name it as main. You can name it main.bicep or you can even say uh, my first uh, bicep or like my subscription level bicep or whatever. So let's let's just name it uh, main.bicep, but it doesn't matter actually. Um, so once you uh, put the extension .bicep, you can see the icon is coming up as well as once you hit enter you would be able to see language bicep uh, i mean launching the bicep language service would be uh, started so let's uh, give it a moment to get it started so once we have it we can actually define in which scope that we are going to develop uh, this bicep so there's an option you can actually define your uh, resource group with, with Azure CLI manually and then uh, you can start deploying resources into that one using BICEP. But I would prefer to start from the scratch and deploy everything from BICEP. So I only have a subscription 
and uh, let me start even by creating the uh, resource group itself so my target scope so when i type t initially it would give me uh, the target scope okay i press tab and i hit uh, equal mark and then control space would give me all the intelligence that i need so you can put the target scope as management group or even resource group or a subscription or a tenant level so management group etc you need to uh, read through the documentation and understand what it is really but uh, for now we will focus on the subscription scope okay pretty nice now we we have set up uh, the target scope as subscription so i'm going to deploy my resources into the subscription it's fine okay as a next step i need to deploy a resource group so i would just type rg and i would be able to see rg deployment uh, template or uh, the declarative syntax so i'll just hit enter here so it would immediately give me the code segment there's a little hiccup here that is uh, you see a syntax error here so if you go here like it's complaining about something so expected uh, a resource identifier at this location and it's saying it's not the resource identifier so the problem is actually the uh, something wrong with this extension i believe uh, it should be fixed actually uh, but uh, for now it's totally fine what we have to do is just simply like this so it would make everything all right so you don't have to keep it as resource group you can even name it rgo whatever you want just leave the rest of it the resource type etc as it is because that's the latest thing that is coming up automatically okay we are good at it. okay now we can actually provide a name for our resource group and uh, provide a location and then um, whatever the tags we want and we can create this stuff but uh, ideally it should be parameterized now how can we parameterize this thing so you can start by just typing param so once you start typing param and you can just go down and you can see there's the parameter declaration syntax press enter and you can start typing your rg name okay i'll put in as capital then uh, you can find out the types or you can just uh, control space and it will give you different set of types so i would only focus on today on very simple things and uh, try to build it as a pipeline as well so that's what uh, we are going to do so we will just use a string type here okay now you can see another yellow line indicating something okay it says the rg name is declared but never used okay great so let's go and go let's go and use it so you can see immediately it provides you with rg name cool so likewise let me quickly add the location for uh, rg so i can just say param of bad okay and i'll say rg location in string okay tags i will hard code oh i can even 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 put the tags but, um, yeah, i'll hard code this better okay that's that's not 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 necessary so I, i'll just hard code this tag value uh let's say uh bicep demo or something like that and for this one i will just uh, use the rg location okay so this is actually our resource group deployment template. Pretty simple to do. Uh, if you have done ARM templates, this is much, much simpler and much, much easier to develop. So how can we now deploy and test it from our development machine? Okay, first step would be, uh, you can just open up your PowerShell window and then uh, we can, uh, okay, I think I have not created this file inside this infra folder. So I'll move it inside. Okay, cool. That's better. Uh, then I'll copy this infra folder path. So I'll copy the path and go to my PowerShell window. And I will just say CD and okay, I'm in that path. 
Now, uh, to get this uh, tested first, I need to uh, execute uh, AZ login, AZ login for uh, get myself logged into my uh, Azure account. Okay, so I'll execute AZ login here. Okay, super. So uh, it will quickly uh, find my subscriptions, which I will uh, skip through very quickly. Uh, so I already have used AZ account uh, set subscription command and set my subscription properly. Uh, so hopefully it works. Uh, so I don't want to set it again. Um, because I, will, I, I don't want to put uh, that information here. Uh, anyway, so the command to uh, deploy this would be, uh, let me get a command, like if I am deploying something to a subscription, it should be, uh, so let me remove the additional parts here and explain how we do this. Okay, now you can see AZ deployment sub create that means is the deployment deployment should happen at the subscription level and create at location uh, central us it doesn't matter uh, and then the template file would be main bicep and the parameters would be rg name rg bicep demo one so i will name this as rg bicep demo uh, two uh, just because i already have a have a one resource group created already in my uh, like if I go to the portal and show you uh, I already have a demo 01 so I wouldn't want to create the same thing uh, I'll show you how how it works when it comes to existing resources but I just want to uh, try it out first uh, with a new resource group so uh, this is my resource group and maybe you can we can go ahead and uh, set this as east us instead of uh, east us and maybe i can omit even this uh, create location it is not necessary i believe let's try it out and see what happens okay now before executing the, them uh, if you are familiar with terraform you know there's a plan command so how can we uh, check such thing so what we have to do is just put what if here okay what if i i execute this command okay so let's see what happens okay so it, it demands me location is required okay cool let's let's provide that okay um, I really don't see why it's necessary, but like we can we can say that location and maybe central US. I think it should be okay, but my resource should be created in uh, as I mentioned here East US. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, my bad. I know what what's the mistake. That is, uh, it's not named as location but location. Okay. Oh, okay. Still giving. Uh, let's see what's the problem here. Central US. Oh, let me check it from the previous command that is executed and quickly edit it uh, without wasting our time. Central US. Okay, something somewhere wrong. I don't know really. Location. Okay, let me uh, remove the additional stuff here and quickly rename this thing to. Storage name is not required, and this is let's name it to East US, East US, and let's name this to two. I don't want to look at my uh, typing errors. Say so let's execute what if now. Okay. 
okay it's cool it would take a while to execute because it actually checks with the Azure and uh, you can see it says uh, there will be new resource created so you can see create and want to create so we can remove the what if command and we can execute this one so that it will create my resource so let's first create it manually and see what happens goes and uh, start running so in a short while we should see a resource group appearing here let's search for bicep <clears throat> still creating might take a couple of seconds more okay we should now have the resource group available yes you can see bicep demo 2 is available to us so that's that much simple and uh, let's go ahead and try to add couple of resources into this resource group so in order to do that actually we have to use modules how can we define a module let's see now if i type mo and if I try to say module here now module uh, template is given to me okay I hit enter here it looks for a identifier and a path again there is a bit of uh, syntactical problems here uh, you can instead of saying path like this you need to say like this okay and you need to provide some sort of a name uh, now it complains could not find the file path because it looks for another bicep file now we only have main bicep here okay so what if uh, okay what if I create another bicep file let me say storage so I will create storage account using this bicep okay still it will complain there's no storage bicep. Totally fine. Let's go and create a new file here. Okay. Now, if I come back here, okay, still says that. Let's uh, ignore it for a moment. And uh, let's save this. And uh, okay it says subscription is not valid for this uh, scope so what now it doesn't complain about this particular file and um, module declaration is missing uh, properties scope so it's letting me know I need to define the scope property okay how can we define scope scope okay I can say scope is simply my RG that is this particular resource so if I have multiple resource group I can simply uh, deploy the same module into different resource groups providing parameters okay let's uh, name this module as um, storage module cool okay for now that's enough okay let's go ahead and define the storage here now we don't have to define the scope here because we already uh, defined it at the level of uh, calling this module so what we are going to do here is uh, instead of uh, defining a scope we are going to start with uh, I'll press a couple of enters because I need to define parameters later um, I'll try to uh, define a storage account so how can I define a storage account you can see resource storage so I just hit enter and, okay pretty nice it doesn't give you that initial problem of uh, RG and it's a storage account so i if i prefer i can even call stg or whatever i want um so uh then a name for the storage account 
So we need to start defining our parameters. So let me uh, start, oops, wrong place. Let me put it in here and I'll say storage name string. Okay, since I have shown you how to do it, I will quickly copy a couple of things to save my time and your time as well. And we'll just say kind location. Oh, okay, we can leave location as uh, resource group location, no problem. And we can go ahead and name this as uh, SKU. Okay. Then once we do that, we can go ahead and storage name, storage uh, kind. So if you have a similar experience with uh, Terraform using uh, uh, syntax support from the Terraform extensions for uh, Visual Studio Code, you might have encountered, I mean, if, when it comes to a very simple one, uh, it provides some intelligence kind of uh, support, but like uh, when you're developing Terraform, it's it's really hard uh, to get some intelligence support. But uh, in Bicep, you get really cool in intelligence support here. Uh, so you can just, uh, it provides you suggestions and a lot of stuff. Okay, I define my SKU. Now, immediately, once you complete this step, you can see main bicep has started complaining. So we can say this one is my storage or something. Okay. That is that is the name, but I, I just changed the name, module of the name, but it doesn't fix the problem. The problem is we are missing the parameters because storage bicep module is asking for parameters. Okay. Now let's go ahead and start defining the params okay once i define this one it says okay i would prefer syntax like this maybe and it starts complaining at the param level and say i am missing storage kind storage name and storage sku so it's pretty easy to start developing this now storage name storage find and storage escape maybe i'll add a bit of a tabbing here okay to make sense now i need to add a couple of more parameters okay so what is the uh, storage name storage name storage Find storage location. I'll fix K here to look, make it look better. Okay. Now I just have to use those variables here. Storage name, storage kind, and storage. It's not storage location, really. It should be storage SKU. That's my bad. So let's go and uh, rename this uh, storage uh, SKU. Okay. So now you can see storage SKU is there. Okay. And uh, we can see it's passed to the module. Um, all looks good. So saved and saved here. So we can go ahead and uh, try out uh, with all the parameters. We provide the uh, location and uh, so you can see the command, right? So it is saying uh, template file and parameters, uh, resource group location um, and uh, storage name and storage kind and the storage SKU. And let's execute a what if and see what would happen so this should give us some um, like if we go to our resource group and check if we have any resources it shouldn't have any so if we come back here now this should uh, get executing 
and it says it's gonna create a new one resource so let's try to uh, execute it without what if and let's see what would happen so it should basically go and create a storage account here so it should start in a few seconds oh okay it gives by its object has no attribute let's check what it is let me check if there is any problem with code um, so let's jump into VS code um, okay um, looks like uh, it's not much of a problem anyway let's double check uh, these parameters storage name storage kind and uh, storage SKU oh it looks good it uh, looks to be some change let me save it and ensure all these things are correct as well storage name storage kind storage SKU whatever here looks good right okay let's try it again with a what if first if Okay, looks good. Let's try to execute it again. And see if it gets created this time. Okay, it's starting. So there might have been a small, uh, small space or something in the file so it's better if you put a control space and check the variables uh, if you run into that kind of an issue there could be certain hiccups with uh, uh, this uh, extension for vs code because it's uh, in preview so it's expected uh, anyways uh, i mean it's, it, it looks good so let's see how it executes so once this is executed uh, we have to uh, see a storage account getting created here so let me check refreshing still not there so the command is still executing it takes a little while should be done in a couple of seconds i believe okay done so this should have the storage account created so our code file is really in a good state now let's go back to the code and try to push this code to the repo so let's say um, bicep code um, initial or something okay just uh, what am i typing initial okay um looks good and we are gonna push this code and we have our code in our repo so the next step is to create a pipeline so let me try to create a pipeline quickly and show you how it works okay let's switch back to a uh, bicep demo and uh, let me uh, quickly copy uh, existing pipeline because uh, I don't want to waste time uh, trying to uh, implement this from the beginning so the main purpose was to identify how to write bicep code now you you have the idea of how to write it and um, how to get it executed from the development environment now we are just gonna look at a simple implementation of pipeline where we would be able to get it deployed automatically so let me um, 
let me copy it from uh, one of my previously created and tested pipelines uh, so that you can see a couple of uh, hiccups here like uh, I was trying the pipeline in different ways and finally I came up with a kind of a pipeline so let me uh, let me explain this after I copy this and create a new pipeline in a, a repository so what I would do is uh, I'll copy this and I'll go to my VS code and let's try to create a new folder here. Let's create a new folder in, okay, I'll close these uh, two things and then I click here because I want to create a folder at this level, pipelines, okay, pipelines and then i want to create a ideally i would be creating a build pipeline which would package this and then again a deploy pipeline which would uh, take the take such a package and deploy it. but for now let's uh, create a very simple simple deploy pipeline because we we need to only learn the steps on how to deploy once we have this particular uh, bicep file with us okay uh, so let me paste this code and explain it to you um, so what i'm trying to do here is um, like it's uh, simply uh, i'm having a infra deploy service connection created so where it is created let me show you uh, if you go here you can see a service connection created which is actually a uh, at the uh, resource group level oh sorry uh, it's at the uh, subscription level so how i added that is uh, using azure resource manager and then saying next and service principal manual and doing this so i have a couple of blogs written on how to create service connection so you can search my blog and find it out how to do it if you don't know how to do it uh, but uh, what matters here is like you need to provide the exact name which is used here okay and then i can even try to create uh, something like three uh, you can think of like adding these parameters into um, some variable groups or using it from there those things uh, is something that is relevant to azure pipelines more so i will not uh, worry about that one so i just say three here and I leave the rest of it and you can see from my root I have an infra folder and main bicep as the execution point and I can use the Ubuntu latest image as the pool and my first job would be to execute a preparation so it would execute a preparation in the sense it would uh, execute these uh, steps and uh, try to create storage name storage kind and storage sku is provided as parameters with a what if so it will show me what would happen once this is executed then i will have a manual validation step so that i i can check what happens and then i can execute this now you can see the dependencies set on these uh, uh steps so or jobs so that uh, in this one we don't have that what if at the end so it should execute without any issues so ideally um this is how it should be done so it's a simple bash inline script and just the az commands with azure cli task so this should do it so even you can use an ubuntu agent to execute this so let's save this one and uh, push the pipeline pipeline adder. okay let me push this uh okay i need to fix one thing this should trigger from main because my branch name is main uh, branch name, main. okay save and commit and push okay that's good now let's go back to here and try to create a new pipeline. New pipeline with our repo. 
I'll, I'll use the classic option because it's easier to select stuff. So I will bicep demo, which is the repo that we have committed our code. And I'll use the main branch and I'll continue and I'll apply the YAML template. And simply copy the pipeline path here. So once I do this and uh, I can say uh, simple deploy bicep demo or something like that uh, and then I'll try to save and queue let's see what would happen okay it started its job so let's see uh, what would happen in the prepare step takes a few seconds to kick in okay now it started and I have set it up to check out the uh, repo otherwise my code is not there because it's a deployment job so you can see what's going to happen so what's going to happen would be communicated to us let's go and see once it's done okay it's done let's check what's going to happen it says two to create so two resources will be created because we have renamed it so a uh, new storage account and a new resource group would be created so i can approve this okay it's still waiting for manual validation i'm clicking on it oh. why it's not coming okay I think it's still running okay now it says review and I'll say resume so what would happen is it will go ahead and deploy this thing so with this one what we have done is actually um, created a simple bicep script and uh, we have added it to um, Azure pipelines and uh, we have deployed it via Azure pipelines now um, you might be interested in in uh, deploying this via github actions so let me show you how to do it in a very simple code segment of github actions what you basically need is like this is actually uh, coming from uh, microsoft documentation itself so it's uh, you can use whatever the agent ubuntu agent you want and you just have to check out the code and then use azure login task and then provide the credential now this credential should be the service principal credentials and um, uh, once you log in using service principal uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to provide the subscription id and you can omit the resource group if, group if you are doing the uh, level of uh, say uh, subscription level deployments and then you can use your template now in our case it should be infra main bicep and uh, you need to provide all the parameters and even parameters can be parameterized here and then you can run it so that it will uh, execute via github action as well uh, maybe in a later session or uh, in one of my blog posts i will post how to exactly do this uh, via github action so that you can get a complete idea of how the execution would happen now once our pipeline executed here we would be able to see the resources available to us so it seems it's uh, it's doing its job let's see scrolling down yeah okay it's done so we should have another resource group uh, bicep okay bicep demo 3 is available and you can see it's deployed so i didn't go into deep details of like implementing a build pipeline and package it as a new git package or something and then output as a build output and taking it and deploy that is actually pipeline implementation but i what i wanted to introduce you to is bicep how to write it 
how easy to write it with the uh, bicep extension for visual studio code and um, the syntax and the module usage so um, basically what would happen is uh, you have to have uh, modules so you can create different modules and uh, like the advantage is if you want to create multiple storage accounts with different set of parameters what you can do is write a module like this and add all these necessary parameters and call it from your main bicep in multiple times uh, with uh, uh, with different set of parameters to get uh, multiple uh, created and there are a lot of other things coming up in this uh, bicep like if you want to restrict uh, certain uh, parameters with values etc uh, what you can do is like for example SKU may be having uh, allowed values so like you can see allowed and define the values as an array like for example you can say it supports standard uh, uh, standard LRS so likewise you can define the allowed values as an array so what would happen is um, once you do this uh, okay what i'm doing bad here is it not an array okay let me try to define it as an array i think it should be an array like this okay yeah so once you do that why oh, okay maybe i am not 100 percent sure about the syntax here um i'll post that as well in another blog post but uh, it, it has the facility of defining allowed and like several other uh, syntactical improvements and like restrictions can be applied so uh, we can we can find out uh, how, how to do this uh, in the documentation itself um, so I'll skip it for the moment I don't know how to define an array maybe um, let me try that one later and post it for you guys um, so with this we can uh, conclude the session today um, okay i'll make it fixed again okay looks good um, so what i wanted to say is like uh, there are a lot of things beyond what i have shown you uh, which we can experiment and learn with uh, and it's really nice experience with azure and bicep uh, so go ahead and uh, try to learn these things and read documentation and you will find out how to do all this stuff like even allowed parameters and etc can be said uh, I just missed the syntax how to do it that's that's the only thing so um, let's see you in another nice session so thank you for listening to me thank you so much bye